In this video, I want to show just how easy it is to create your very own custom home automation project and then take that project and deploy it to your smartphone or your tablet or in the case of this video, our 7-inch WFTT07 tabletop touchscreen unit. So what you're seeing in front of you is the HS Touch Designer running on my computer. You're seeing the tabletop touchscreen unit and to the right of that you're seeing one of our home troller Z's which is our home automation controller. Okay, let's get started. This is our HS Touch Designer and what I'm looking at here is the standard project. This is the project that is shipped with the tabletop touchscreen. But let's say that you don't have cameras. Why have cameras on the main menu? Uh, what we're going to do is select cameras and delete them. So I'm just going to take them right off the main menu. Then I'm going to control click and select the remaining icons and use a tool up top which is going to evenly space the icons. I'll give that a click. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the labels for the icons underneath. I'll control click to select them all, evenly space them. Now I'll just refresh the screen so that you can see what it'll look like. All right. Well, that's better. No more cameras now. Now I can go to the Tools menu, select Deploy. A listing of all my connected clients will be there. There's my touch screen. I'll save the project. Now I have the option of deploying it. I can actually deploy graphics as well, but I've already got graphics in the touch screen, so no point in that. So I'll click OK. There goes the deploy process. You can see it happen on the touch screen. And there we go. There's our new project. As you can see, the camera button is gone. Okay, now let's say you want to create a brand new project. Not use the existing one, but just create your own custom project. Go to File, say New Project. Click uh, Yes to that. The project defaults are going to appear. Let's uh, create a project name. We'll call this a Demo Project. Type that in. And let's check the attributes for the project. In this case, it's an Android project, so that's selected. 800 by 432 is a resolution. That's good. Uh, yeah, it looks like everything is about what we want here. Landscape orientation. Let's click OK. And our new screen is going to appear. Well, by default, it's going to be white. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and change that to a, a more appealing color. Go up here to the background color attribute. Scroll through the list and let's find something uh, bluish to put on the background. There we go. All right. Well, we're going to be controlling a desk lamp with our project. Uh, so just a lamp by itself. We don't need a lot of complexity here. So let's uh, change the skin. I'm going to change to the Android skin and drag a button to the screen. We're going to use this button to turn the lamp on and off. Let's also drag a slider over too. Uh, this will help us to change the dim level of the lamp. And I'm going to take a, a text element and bring that over too. This is going to display the status of the lamp, whether it's on or off or what the dim level is. So I'm going to go ahead and select all these elements and just nudge them over a little bit, move them to the center. Okay, the first element I'm going to set up is this slider. So I'll go ahead and select that. And then in the Properties pane, I'm going to choose Status Tracking. I'm going to select Home Seer Devices. And then I'm going to choose the desk lamp. Just click OK to that. And that's all set up. Next element will be the button. I'm going to select that. Scroll to the top of the Properties list. And I'm going to choose Actions When Released. Because I want to see the pressed action. So I'll go ahead and select that. The Actions Editor opens. I add an action and it's going to be to control a home seer device which is about uh, maybe midway down the list. Once I choose the action I'll get a menu where I can select the desk lamp and then the action itself. I'll scroll to the very bottom of that and choose the toggle on off action. Okay, So that'll toggle on and off now. Um, I do want to put some text on the button though so that I can remind myself what it does. So in the text property I'm going to type in on and off and then I'm going to change the font color from black to white so it shows up on top of the button. 
I also want to make the font a little bit bigger, a little easier to read. So I'm going to change that to 18 points and I'm going to make it bold. Okay. Notice that the pressed font is still the smaller size. So I'm going to copy the style for the uh, normal font there and I'm going to um, change that to the pressed font as well. Okay. So now when I press it, the font doesn't change size. Okay, last element I want to change here is going to be the text element. And once I select that, I can go down to Status Tracking in the Properties pane. And once again, I'm going to open that up. And I want to choose uh, Home Seer Devices. And once again, the Desk Lamp. Just click OK to that again. And now let's make that bigger too. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think make that maybe 20 points. Again, make sure it's bold. Okay, that looks good. Well, uh, why don't we give it our test run? Uh, go back up to the uh, Tools menu again and go down to Deploy and let's deploy that to the touch screen one more time here. I do have some new graphics, so I'm going to tick that box for deploying the graphics. Here we go. Wow, that was pretty quick. Okay, so here's our new screen. We've got our slider and our button. If I turn the button on, oh, look at that. It pops the slider up and turns the lamp on. Now it's turning the lamp off. Now I can slide up to a specific dim level. Pretty cool, huh? Well, it's a pretty basic screen, though. Um, I think we can pretty it up a bit. Let's give that a try. Let's go back to the designer. And uh, I'm going to go to the graphics area of our skin here and see if I can come up with a little background bump to put underneath our elements here. Here's one we can use. All right. Now, once I drag you to the screen, notice it sort of sits on top of those elements. We're going to take care of that in a minute. But let me uh, resize it a little bit first. And then I'm going to find a property on the properties pane over on the right called lock to background and I'm going to change that from false to true and that's going to set the bump on top of the background there we go that looks a little bit better gives it a little definition and I can also line things up a little bit better too I'm just nudging stuff around there Okay, once I do that, I can drag a box around everything and just move everything all as a group here. So let me do that. I'm going to move that over to the right-hand side because I want to put a, uh, a light bulb image over on the left-hand side. So let me scroll back through the list of graphics here. Here's my light bulb. That's a background uh, for a light bulb. I'm going to center that vertically. And uh, over in the Properties pane, I see that it's at 75 and 80. That's the position of it for the left and top attributes. Again, I'm going to lock that to the background, so that becomes a background, background image. Then I'm going to bring the glowing light bulb over to the screen. I'm going to place that on top of my background light bulb image. And I want to tie that to the slider, so when the slider goes up and down, it changes the transparency of that element. Uh, so it appears to be turning the bulb on and off and dimming it up and down. Uh, again, I select the bulb. I put in 75 and 80, so it lines up on top of my background light bulb image. That's where I want it. I'm going to name it to, um, I'm going to change the name to Bulb, B-U-L-B, and you'll see why in just a minute. So now I'm going to select the slider go up to the Actions When Selection Changed property and open up the Action Editor. I'm going to add a new action and in the list I'm going to find the action that changes the alpha property of an element. There it is. Once I choose that, now I'm going to select the Bulb Graphic. Say OK to that. So when I change the slider up and down, it's going to change the transparency of the bulb. And you'll see how that looks in a moment. So let's go ahead and deploy this project again back to the touch screen and take a look. OK, so here's our project fully deployed now. We've got our light bulb on it. When I turn it on, notice our bulb glows brightly. And as I slide the slider down, the glowing dims and dims and dims. So it's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Pretty cool, huh? 
Okay, so there's uh, another couple of things we can do here which are pretty cool. Um, our tabletop has a built-in uh, audio system and with a couple of speakers and a 5 watt amplifier. So it's able to speak things. And uh, one of the things we can do in our home seer software running on the home troller Z is we can create events that speak. So when you turn the light on or you turn the light off or you dim it up or you dim it down, we can have home seer speak also to that touch screen. So let's see how that works. Let's bring up our home seer software. This is the, the software that's running on the Z. We're accessing the web interface. Now I've got a couple of events that are already pre-created here that will speak. Um, the first one here is going to speak if the light is dimmed to less than 50%. We've got one that speaks if the light is dimmed to greater than 50%. And we've got uh, another event that speaks when the lights are turned on and turned off. Um, these are currently disabled. So what I'm going to do is open the events up and enable them. Notice this is how it works. It says if the device changes and becomes a particular value, in this case from 1 to 49 percent, then speak and say that uh, the light is dimmed to less than 50 percent. Okay. Similar event here. Um, this is the same thing. It's if, if the value of the light is between 50 and 98, then we're going to speak and say that the light is dimmed to um, greater than 50 percent. Okay, the other two events just simply speak and say that the light has been turned on and the light has been turned off. Okay, let's go back to the touch screen and give it a whirl. Okay, let's turn the light off. Lamp is off. Let's turn the light on. Lamp is on. Let's dim it down a little bit. Lamp is dimmed to 50% or greater. And let's dim it a little bit more. Lamp is to less than 50%. Okay, those events are working just fine. Uh, the last thing I want to do is just to pretty up our screen a little bit by adding a different background to it. So instead of a solid color, uh, I'm going to bring an image graphic over. And uh, I, I want you to know if, if you uh, know a little bit about Photoshop or GIMP or some other type of image editor, you can create your own graphics and bring them into any of these projects. And uh, that, that's a great way to give a, a very personal touch to what you're doing. So let's go ahead and deploy this uh, new look to our touch screen and have a look. And there it is. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching.